Hi everyone, it's Saski here from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I just noticed that my Buddha boy Padraig has a really cloudy eye and I'm going to investigate. So I don't know what's going on, but let's take a look. It's, I'm not happy about it because it looks very painful. Poor baby. Have a look right here. Let me see if I put it. My sweetheart. Mama's baby. It's an ouchie for my baby. Look at that. Now, he's not squinting, so usually if there's something in the eye, they're squinting, but this came on in the, today, like in, in, in hours time, like maybe five or six hours time. This was not there last night. So, it would almost have to be something in that eye. So, I'm, let's have a look. Let's have a look and see if we can find it. Let's have a look. I'm gonna put on my special paper glasses. And then this one also is a helps me see things closer. And we're actually, just on the wrong. Can you? Oh, I see it already. Do you? Can you focus in good? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Look at that baby boy. That is a big piece of hay. Ooh, that's huge. Ouchie. Okay. I'm gonna take it out. Julia just asked me if I ever got a hay poke in my eye. I have. I've got <laughs> the size no. of Padre's gone. That must be so painful. Okay. All right. Look, guys. I'm using some of the lube. All right. So we moved because the light wasn't very good over there. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put a little lube in also because that just helps him and it helps the, the piece kind of become a little more dislodged. Then I have this handy because this is the antibacterial antibiotic ointment that he's going to have to need to go in his eye. Uh, this cloudiness that you see that's normal with a hay poke as well. And I, there was a few people, the last hay poke I did were all um, talking about me, my, my use of the tweezer. Now, I do this all the time, so for me it's no big deal to use a tweezer, but if you are not as experienced, then you might want to use just a Q-tip with this and then see if you can gently pull it out, but that stuff, if it's in the, all the way on the top, you almost have to use a, uh, a tweezer. So, But when I use a tweezer, I don't just go like this. I, I always hold it steady against the animal itself or against my hand like this. So that if the animal were to move, I could never poke him. You see what I mean? It's not like this. If he were to move, then yeah. But because if I'm holding him and I'm holding my hand steady at the same time against something, he will not be able to get poked. So, let's get a little better light in here. My sweet pie. It's okay, I'm going to fix you. And then the loop will also kind of reveal it a little better. I just would like just a piece to come and stick out. There we go. And then... Here we are. There. That was ouchie, huh, <laughs> Binky? Hi. You feel better. Love you. Yes. Much better. <laughs> My mama's Buddha boy. Hi, Padricky. Okay. All better now, Binky. Let's clean the eye now with a little bit of eye wash pad. Yeah, let's clean it up a little bit. Very gently because I bet it's ouchie. And it's very common, you know, piggies get this. And often it's, you know, if, if you feel confident enough, you don't need any professional help. You could possibly do it yourself. There. All cleaned up. And then we're going to put some of this. This stuff, I like to put like a little film on my finger. And then I open the eye. And I just kind of let me actually make sure there's nothing else in here. No, there usually isn't. Okay. Wait, am I seeing stuff? Oh, that's just from the loop. Okay. 
and he's being a very good boy and letting me just put it right in there and then of course we're gonna give him some CBD right now and the CBD is an amazing painkiller I probably should have started with the CBD but it's okay and this will help him just a little bit of pea size amount like this that I put on his ear will get absorbed into the bloodstream just like this and it is a, an amazing painkiller for guinea pigs I just love it and I always say I don't know how I can run the rescue without it anymore this is the one we use we have it on our website actually so there all good yeah so we're gonna continue this until the cloudiness in the eye is gone because then I know that it's been healed up you ready for dinner now? Okay, baby. I love you. <laughs> Hi, Podrick. Hi. Close your mouth. You to close your mouth. You silly pinky. <laughs> oh, only usually early old boys get this. You're not that old. No. You're not that old. Put your mouth closed. Anyway, I love you. This is what his eye looks like. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful eye. Yeah. This healed within two days. It was gone. Two days. Oh, this is what the other one looks like. Two days, huh, Binky? It was, everything was good. And the magic... Let me show you the magic stuff that we use for this. Teramycin. This is what we use. This is an over-the-counter in the United States antibiotic eye ointment that on guinea pigs does a phenomenal job and usually this is what you need and this is usually will do the job. Not always, but usually the eye, look at that, becomes beautiful and healed. So don't be too fast in taking eyes out either because vets are usually will say first thing that the eye needs to come out where guinea pig eyes they make remarkable recoveries unbelievable recoveries actually so you saw how bad his eye was this is all we did for like hmm five six days to get him back to look in the way he's supposed to you're a good boy yes mama loves you very much very good boy. <laughs>